We continue now at the top of Daf Yud Aleph Amid Beis and Maseches Baba Vastra. This is Baba Vastra Daf Eleven B. On the previous Amid, Amemar said that if you have a pit in the courtyard which has animal food, so you have to give four amos on all sides in order to have proper access. But now Amemar says that's only true if there's not a designated entrance for the owner of that pit. Avol miyached lepischa. But if there's a designated entrance, ein lo ella arba amos lefnei pischa. So then he's only entitled to the four amos in front of that entrance. And Rashi explains avol miyached lepischa means to say. He has an entrance at the end of his house by this pit. And it's through that entryway that he throws the pits. We're talking about the date pits. And he takes them. So if he has that designated entrance, so then he does not get in the courtyard except by that Pesach, but he doesn't get on all sides of the pit. And the Gemara continues, Amar Ravuna, Ravuna says, Achsadr, if the person has a portico, that's essentially like a porch that leads from the Chatzar to the entrance of his house, Ein la Dalad Amos, and then he's not entitled to Dalad Amos by the entryway of the house. And the Gemara explains, Time am I, what's the reason why he gets Dalad Amos? Mishom Pirak Maso, it's in order for him to be able to unload the burden from his animal. But Hacha, but over here, after Da'ayel le Gavoy, he could just go into the Achsadra, Umefarik, and unload over there. And Rashi explains, Achsadra sheyesh lo min ha-pesach l'chotzer. He has an Achsadra that goes from his door to the courtyard. So ain lo dalet amos b'chalukas ha-chotzer. So now when they're dividing up the chotzer, he doesn't get the dalet amos. Taim amai omer abonin sheyesh lo pesach b'ayis dalet amos b'chotzer. Because what is the reason why the Rabbonin say that a, the entry of a house gets four amos? Mishom piruk maso. It's in order to have space to unload his donkey. Sheyefarik shavam maso me'al chamoro. Over there in that dalet amos, he can unload from the donkey. Lafisha stav. Because generally a house, it's not free from vessels. He's not able to bring his donkey into the house with the burden to unload it over there. And Rashi continues, over here, when we're talking about an achsadra, the Mesorah Sasha says that it should say, since it has no walls, an achsadra has columns which support a roof, but there are no walls. So it's possible to bring the donkey into the the Achsadra and unload, you have that option, and therefore the Dalet Amos is not needed. And the Gemara continues, Mesiv Rav Sheshes, Rav Sheshes asks, Echad Shari Batim V'echad Shari Achsadros. Whether we're talking about gates of houses, whether we're talking about gates of porticos, Yesh Len Dalet Amos. The Bryce over here says that they do get Dalet Amos, that goes against what we just said. And the Gemara answers, Kitanya, he, that Bryce is talking specifically, Be'achsadra Devei Rav, of an Achsadra, of a study hall, and that's more like a room, that's why there's no room for unloading in such an Achsadra. The Gemara says, Achsadra Devei Rav, Pshita, what are you talking about? If the Bryce is talking about an Achsadra Devei Rav, a portico of a study hall, it's so obvious. Idrona Ma'alihu, that's a regular room, it's closed off, of course you're not going to bring animals into such an Achsadra. And so the Gemara instead says, Ela Be'achsadra Rumaisa, rather the Bryce is talking about an Achsadra, a Roman Achsadra, those were a little less open than a typical Achsadra, and that's why over there, Dalad Amos is given. And Rashi explains, Achsadra Devei Rav, the portico of the study hall, Defanos Savivla, there actually are walls by such an Achsadra, Elisha Mukafos Chalonos, except that it's surrounded by windows. And then there's Achsadra Rumaisa, the Roman Achsadra, Mukafos Defanos Namuchos, that is surrounded by lower walls, Shein Magios Latikra, that don't actually reach the roof. And again, that's why it's a bit of a Chiddush over there. And we say over there, the person is entitled to Dalit Amos. And the Gemara continues, Tanu Rabbon and the Rabbis taught, Beis Shar Achsadra Umar Pesas, if there's a gatehouse, or a portico, or a balcony, Yech Lehen Dalet Amos, there are Dalet Amos in all of those situations. Hayu Chamisha Botim Psuchin Lemar Pesas. Now let's say you have five houses, and they all open up to one balcony, and then there are stairs from the balcony down to the Chotzer. So Ein Lehen Ela Dalet Amos Bilvad, you only get one set of Dalet Amos there, at the bottom of the stairs, you're not going to get for each for each entrance. Boy Minei Rabbi Yochanan Me Rabbi Yana, Rabbi Yochanan asked Rabbi Yana the following question, Lul Shel Tarnagolan, let's say you have a chicken coop, Yech Lo Dalet Amos, so Ein Lo Dalet Amos is there are Amos there or not. They were also by the chicken coops. There were stairs that the chickens went up and down. Amar Leh said back to him, Time am I, what's the reason? Misham Pirak Maso, the whole idea is you need that Dalet Amos because you need space to unload one's animal. But Hacha, but over here, Metafis Viola, Metafis Viori, the chicken's able to go up and down on its own, so to speak. There's no need for the Dalet Amos in this situation. Rashi says, Beis Shar, which is translated as a gatehouse, is Bayis Katan Shalifnei Pesach Traklin, the Koran Lo Porka Belaz, that's like a small house 
and it's in front of an uh, of a hall of an entryway. Marpeses v'harbe pischei aliyah psuchin lo. Marpeses is the balcony where you have a bunch of doors at the upper floor that open to the balcony. V'kulan olin derech sulam echa. They all go up one ladder. Ein lohen ela arba amos bein kulan. They only get one set of our arba amos. Eitzel ragle hasulam by the foot of the ladder, the foot of the stairs. And finally, lul shel tarnagolim, which is a chicken coop. Bayis kadon shem megadlin bo tarnagolim, small house where they raise chickens. V'yesh lo pesach lechatzer. It also has like an entryway into the chatzer. Yesh lo dalad amos bechatzer alo. Is that entitled to four amos in the chatzer or not? And the answer is metafes viola means hatarnagol metafes vitorech viola derech rosh hakosa lesochalul. It's the chicken himself, so to speak, the chicken itself that's able to get in. It's able to go up through the top of the wall inside the chicken coop, and therefore dalad amos are not needed. And the Gemara continues, Boy Mine Ravame Rav Nachman, Rav asks Rav Nachman the following question. Bayis Chetzio Makora Vachetzio Ena Makora, let's say you have a house, half of it is roofed and half of it does not have a roof. Yeshlo Dalar Amos, Ainlo Dalar Amos, again, same question. Is it entitled to Dalar Amos or not? Amar Leis said to him, Ainlo Dalar Amos, there's no Dalar Amos over here because the area that's not roofed, you can use that, you can bring the animal over there to unload. Lomi Boy Kiruy of Milagov. Now we don't even need to say if it's the inner part that has the roof. The Afshar Da'ayla Gavoy then you can easily bring the animal in and unload it. Even if the roof is more towards the outside, still it's possible to bring the animal in and unload, and therefore there is no Dalit Amos in that case. Rashi explains by his chetzi makora upasuach lechatzer. Again, it's partially roofed and it's open to the chatzer. Yesh lo dalad amos pechatzer alo. Is it entitled to four amos of space in the chatzer or not? Lo mi boy kiruy melagov. Now we don't even need to say if it's roofed on the inside. Vahachatzi sheinam akura lasara chatzer, meaning the part that has no roof is more towards the chatzer. Certainly the ein lo arba amos pechatzer. Certainly there's no dalad amos in the chatzer in that case. Do efshir de ma'ayel chamor b'masom afarak sham because it's possible to bring the donkey in with its burden on. on, on load over there. Shein derech loses kalem bechatzer shein makora because it's not normal to put vessels in a chatzer in a courtyard that does not have a roof. And again, the mesorah hashas over here changes it not from bechatzer but bechatzi to the half that does not have a roof. You're not going to have kalem over there. Ela filu kiruiv letzad hachutz. Now, even if it's roofed towards the outside, v'giluiv letzad penim nami. And again, on the inside, that's where it's open. That also ain't lo dalad amos. There's no dalad amos. Do avshar demayel chamor ad hagilu mefarik. It's the same idea. You can always bring the donkey to the area that's uncovered and unload over there so you don't need that Dalit Amos. And the Gemara continues, Boy Minei Rav Huna Me Rabbi Ami Rav Huna asked Rav Ami the following question Echon Mi Bnei Mavoy Shebikesh Lahachzir Pischol Lamavoy Acher Let's say one of the people who lives in an alleyway he wants to turn his entrance to another alleyway meaning to say you have a bunch of Chatzers they all open up into one alley but one of the Chatzers it's possible to open it up instead to a different alley and that's what he wants to do. So Bnei Mavoy Ma'akvin Olav So can the people of that other alley, maybe they don't want another chutzer to open up into their alley. Are they able to stop him? Oain ma'akvin alav, or are they not able to stop him? Amar Lay said to him, Bnei mavoy ma'akvin alav, the people of that other alleyway, they are able to stop him. And the Gemara continues, Achsanya, when it comes to Achsanya hosting, that refers to hosting soldiers. Let's say the government says that you have to host various soldiers who are passing through. Lefi b'nei adam So if you have to divide out how many people, uh, how many soldiers are going to go into each house, do you go by the amount of people already in each house? Do you follow that number? O lefi p'sachem So maybe you go according to the entrances. However many entrances, you proportionally divide it according to that, how many soldiers need to be hosted. Amar Le said to him, Lefi b'nei adam you're going to divide it according to the number of people. You're not going to go according to the number of entrances. And the Gemara continues, Tanya Nami Hachi, we have a b'risa like this as well. Zevil Shebechotzer, the manure that's in a chotzer, that's mischalekes levi p'sachim. That's divided according to the number of entrances, proportionally according to that number. But achsanya, when it comes to hosting the soldiers, levi b'nei adam, that goes according to the number of people. And Rashi explains, Lemavoy Acher, again he wants to turn to another alleyway, Kagon Bayis Shebein Shnei Mavos, let's say you have a house between two alleyways. Again, the way we explained it in the Gemara was the Chatzar, typically speaking, the Chatzeros, the houses would open into the Chatzeros, and the Chatzeros would open into the alleyway. So when you're learning the Gemara about a Mavoy, it, it seems to be talking about a Chatzar. Rashi here says we're talking about the house opening up into the alleyway. In any case, B'nai Mavoy Ma'akvin, the people of the Mavi, they're, they're able to hold them back. B'nai Mavoy Acher She'en Oragel Etzlam, meaning to say there are these residents, really, they're part of the other Mavoy, and they don't want that this person should now be part of their Mavoy, so they're allowed to stop 
stop him from changing the entrance. And Achsanya refers to again Chel Shel Melech Hamutal Al Bnei Ha'ir Lasseis Lehen Achsanya Bebateim. That refers to the host, the soldiers of a king, and the people of the, the city have to host those soldiers. Lefi Bnei Adam Hadarim Bebayis as a go according to the number of people in each house. Meschalekes Lefi Psachim. And then it said in terms of the manure that follows the amount of entrances. Lazavel Sados Lefi Shaderech Hapsachim Hishlichu Shama Chenas Ashba because the the zevel the manure is thrown out through the entrances, so it goes by the number of entrances. But that's not true when it comes to hosting the soldiers of the king. And the Gemara continues. Amar Avuna Avuna says, Echun mi bnei mavoi shebikesh listom keneged pischo. If one of the people who lives in the alleyway he wants to close off the area by his entrance by the alleyway, bnei mavoi ma'akvin. All of the people who live in the mavoi they can stop him from doing so. Shemar ba'alei and asaderich because that causes that they have to walk more. They have to walk around, circumvent that area that was closed off. Off. Rashi explains Shabikesh Listom Keneged Pischo means to say, Lahakif Mechitza Savivos Dalit Amos Shieshla Bamavoi Keneged Pischo. He has an entryway over there into the Mavoi and he gets Dalit Amos and he wants to build some walls around that Dalit Amos so that he's not allowed to do. Shemar Balem Haderech, because now they have to walk more, meaning Shaholech Meroshal at Sad Sofo. If somebody's walking from one end of the Mavoi to the other, Tsarach Lahakif Savavam Mechitza, he's going to have to go around the Mechitza and therefore they're allowed to prevent him from building that. And the Gemara continues, Meisve, we have a question from the following, Braiso, Chamesh Chatseros Psuchos Lamave, if there are five Chatseros, five courtyards that open up into an alleyway, Kulan Mishtamshos Imachitsona, they can all use the space of the alleyway in front of the outermost Chatser. The idea over here is you have a bunch of Chatseros, and there is one Chatser that is closest, so to speak, to the Rosh Hashanah So everyone that is farther back, that is more on the inside, they're going to be walking through the alleyway to the Rosh Hashanah They're allowed to use the space in the alleyway in front of the Chatser, the person who has the outermost chutzer. And the person who's on the outside can only use the space in front of its own, but isn't really allowed to use the space in the alleyway that goes further back. There's no need for that because they're only using the alleyway to get to the Rosh Hashanah. The rest of them they can use together with the second outermost. And that second outermost can use its own space. It can also use the most outer space. So it comes out, that the chutzer, that courtyard that is the most on the inside, that can use the space all for itself. Can also use the space in front of all the other chatzeros, because again, those all progress towards the Rosh Hashanah. Now the question over here from the Brisa is, that it comes out that at least the chutzer that's the innermost, they should be able to build whatever they want, because no one else is really allowed to use that space. And yet, Rav Huna said, that it sounded like everybody who's in the Mavui is not allowed to close off the area by their entrance, but that's not true. The person Person who is the innermost chutzner, they should be able to build a structure over there at the inner part of the mavoi. And the Gemara says Tanoi, it's actually a machlokas Tanoim, whether this is really true. In other words, when you have an alleyway and there's somebody that's at the inner part of the alleyway, is that accessible now to everybody in that part of the alleyway? Or is that really reserved for that inner chutzner? That's actually a machlokas Tanoim. Tatanya, as we learned in the following, Let's say one of the people in the alleyway, he wants to turn his entrance to a different alleyway like we had above. So then again, the people of that other alleyway can stop him. They don't want to have another person who's able to enter. Now the Bryce here says, let's say it was already entered. There already was an entrance to that other alleyway, but it was closed off. So now it's not like he wants to make a new entrance. He just wants to reopen an old entrance. He wants to reopen it. So then the people of that alleyway are not allowed to stop him. That's the opinion of Rabbi. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar Omer says, If you have five courtyards that open up into one alleyway, Kulan Mishtam all of them are allowed to use this alleyway. They all can use it together. Now, the problem over here is Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar does not seem to be addressing anything that Rebbe said, and that's what the Gemara asks. Chatseros, Mandakar Shemaya, whoever mentioned anything about courtyards. Rebbe was talking about somebody from the Mavu who wants to change his entrance, and then suddenly Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar is saying that if you have five Chatseros, they can all use the alleyway. And so the Gemara says, Chisurim Mechsravachi Katani, it must be there are words missing in this Brisa, and it should be read as follows. If you likewise, if you have five chatseros that open up into a mavoi, kulan mishtam shosim hachitzona, they can all use this space by the outermost chatser. Vachitzona mishtam meshas liatzma vechula, but the one in the out, the outermost can only use its own and not anything else. Divrei Rebbe, that's Rebbe's opinion, and that's consistent with the brayso we said above. That's Rebbe's opinion that the outermost chatser can't just use all the space in the alleyway. He's only allowed to use the part of the alley that's right in front of his chatser.
chatzer. But here we have the opposing view. Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar Omer, Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar says, Chamesh chatzeros hapsuchos lamavoy. If you have five courtyards that open up into one mavoy, kulon mishtamshos b'mavoy. They all have equal use within that mavoy. And the Gemara continues at the two dots. Amar Mar, the master said, this is the b'risa above. Hayasasum uvikesh leposcho. Let's say again, it was closed off. There was an entrance to this alleyway, but it was closed off. And now this person, he wants to reopen that entrance. So then, ain b'nei mavoy ma'ak all of them, the people of that alleyway cannot stop him. Amar Rava, Rava says, lo shanu elish lo That's only true if they sealed it up, but they didn't break down the actual doorpost. There's still some remnant of that door, of that entry. Aval parat says petzima, but if they broke down the doorpost, they completely sealed it. B'nei mavoy ma'ak and all of them, the people of the mavoy can stop him. Amar le abai le Rava, abai said to Rava, tanya de mesayilach. We have a brisa that supports what you're saying. And Rashi explains, shalo parat petzimov means kishenistam pischo, if they seal, when they sealed off the entrance, lo silek mezuzoso, mashko for miftan, they didn't remove all the doorposts and the frames, to goli daite de lo silek nafshe, that already shows, if he didn't remove all of that, it shows that he didn't totally take his mind off this entrance, vesofo le poschol acharzman, and he is at the end, he does plan on opening it after some time, so then again he's allowed to reopen, but let's say that entrance was completely sealed, then it would be problematic, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video, and daf yud beiz amad aleph.